on education reform has recommended that the just concluded grade 6 assessment will not be used for placement in junior secondary school. Now in the report the stakeholders say the Kenya primary school education assessment Kipsea, will be used to monitor learning progress. The Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms on Thursday met President William Ruto at State House Nairobi to table the interim report. My own kids go to the government system, the, gov the, the education system that I preside over. If I cannot trust my children with the system that I am presiding over, why should anybody else do? You know? You cannot be a parent in a different system and you pretend to be a leader in a system that you have no faith in, you know? So that, that's what is pushing this conversation. I'm just a parent here now having a conversation with you about my daughter's education, you know? And I really want to know where this will, where this is going. Following the report, the team has recommended that junior secondary schools, grade 7, grade 8 and grade 9 will be domiciled in the existing primary schools. This came as a result of parents complaining about how young the grade 6 students were to be taken to junior high in high schools. The report also recommends that the grade 6 Kenya primary schools education assessment Kipsea will not be used for placement in junior secondary schools. Instead, it will be used to monitor learning progress and provide feedback to education sector players on areas that require intervention. Every primary school will also get an extra classroom and laboratory in the next one year. In the meantime, primary schools neighboring secondary schools will share laboratory facilities with members of parliament urged to support in having these facilities it is built. The team also recommended that TSC, KICD and the Ministry of Education will ensure teachers are equipped well to handle CBC with priority given to those who will be handling grade 7 students. We must, to the extent possible, make education cheaper. The moment you move the place where the kids are going to, to be further than the primary, you're already making it more expensive. Yeah? And you're already working against the transition. You know? And because the whole concept is to make education affordable. Yeah? Affordable. And the affordability of education, even as we were pushing, is we should have more day schools because day schools are affordable. Another recommendation is 30,000 teachers will be recruited by the end of January 2023 to deal with the issue of shortage of teachers in the country. The 49-member task force has until March 2023 to table the final report as the country experiences for the first time three groups of candidates sitting for the national exams. Brian Amuailu, Captive, Nairobi.